Are you from Taiwan? Taiwan, yeah, I'm from Taiwan as well. I just uh, met me with you. Yeah, she told me a lot. Are you a smartphone person? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, I, 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 they're sitting around somewhere. Yeah, right. They might be in a cardigan pocket. Or no, in a paper. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe on the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hello? Jujang. Oh. We, we business as usual, my friend. <laughs> Pori, say hello to Taiwan. Hi, Taiwan. So nice to see you after so many years. It's an incredible to see you after all of these years. It brings it all back. It makes it makes it uh, it makes it uh, all the more interesting. Yeah. So, um, do you want to tell us about um, when did you move to East and why and I was 20 years old. I was living in West London. I took a tube to East. I came across Brick Lane. I was blown away. I, I remember I bought hair grips for uh, for an, another individual. Her name was Ali, and I said we, we have to go down to. We've got to check out this area at the time. Um, the only thing that was really happening was. Uh, the Truman Brewery in terms of visibility um, because it was an area where both art and fashion and creativity merged as one and there was very little sort of creative discussions about, uh, about anything but we, we all shared a, a common uh, sort of vision or lifestyle which was we don't work. We're all creative, and with the, and that's and how we we're going to live. And we all party, and yeah. that's 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 how yeah. we. Yeah. Sort of, and I think all of us. I mean, I I've been bumping into people from from those years. Yeah. And it's uh, it's it's I suppose it's an it's an alternative education, and and it's 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 it was a, it was an absolute eye opener. I mean, it's a, for me, creatively, and as I get older, the the. The, the, I suppose the lessons learned and the experience gained have really sort of added, uh, I, I don't know, like a, Sentimentally. A, well, a, but a unique uh, sort of understanding of, of mm -hmm. all things kind of creative and, 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 and how things sort of can be because it was a, it was a utopia, I suppose, in many, in many ways. Yeah. Because I think at the time, statistically, you had fifty or sixty thousand people in one square mile that that uh, that didn't work, but that were were creative. Uh, so I think, besides that, you know, what happened in New York, maybe in the in the eighties, you had this thing in in, in 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 East London, and it was sort of the tail end of the kind of the. X generation, the sort of ecstasy munching sort of generation, and it was a little bit more thoughtful and it was much more creative, and and, and it was very local. I mean, you had you know places like the Golden Heart with, with that you know were were incredibly run and represented by by Sandra. You had. The, the bricklayer's arms, uh, and I mean, this was, I would imagine, people who would sort of, who would sort of read about it or, or sort of listen to what we're saying, that there was nothing else there. I mean, you had, you know, you had people like Alexander McQueen, you had people all living in the neighborhoods, and, and, and in terms of socializing, in terms of sort of networking. It was this was it was like the the original uh, shortage house, but without without the membership fee. Yeah, the three three three. The three three three. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, memory of our secret rendezvous. Do you remember? Of course, <laughs> and, and in fact, I mean, our my very first show was was uh, was was organized by yourself, and we, we did it in an incredible warehouse. And it was for free that space, and now they charge fortune. That's right. Yeah, that's that's right. That. And it's probably the yeah, and oh God, yeah, I mean look, whether or not things change, I don't know. Uh, you know, whether or not 
the, 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 it's, a, it's an age thing or it's a, it's a coming of age. But, you know, I, I would imagine that we're, what we're discussing, kids in, uh, you know, Dalston are, you know, feeling that same thing. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I think that it, it's a timeless, it's a, it, it's a timeless period and I think that it's certainly, I know that for yourself and I, and I, can, I can speak for myself that it, it, it was, the, it, it was the, one of the most sort of character forming periods for me and it's it sort of stays with us because you could have easily have gone through that period of what age you were and 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 not had it had that sort of warmth had that feeling